Hey, Desmond Liu here. Today we're going to learn how to make an abstract animation just by using text layer. So let's begin. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to go 1080 by 1080, 24 frames per second, 5 seconds long. Click OK. Select my type tool and then type in a pipe symbol by holding down the shift backslash button. So I'm just going to type one pipe symbol and use my animation preset called repeater that allows me to specify how many times to repeat this character with a slider control. To learn more about this animation preset and how to make it, please watch my previous tutorial. The link is in the description below. All right, so let's have about a hundred uh, pipe symbol. And then with the text layer selected, let's go to our shape tool and select the ellipse tool, double click on it to create a circular mass, command shift H to see our, our handles, the mass path, right? And we're going to set the mass mode to none. And we're going to go open up the text option, path options, and set to mass one. Okay. So this will align uh, our characters to the path and make sure force alignment is turned on uh, with the text layer selected. Let's align it to the composition and let's scale this down by about down to 70 as for scale. All right. We're going to create a couple of slider controls before we proceed. So First of all, we're going to create a C. So when we're going to go to expression control, slider control, rename this slider control to C. And we are going to control, have a control that changed the length of our uh, pipe symbol. So we're going to add in, we're going to go into layer, sorry, effect, expression control, point control. All right. So this will be the size. And lastly, we want to have color controls because we're going to color this, uh, all these bars uh, separately. So we go to expression control, color control, and we're gonna have uh, five of them. So let's duplicate, actually let's have six of them. All right, so now we can proceed with uh, adding text animators to our, our text over here. All right, with the text selected, uh, let's go to our first text animator and we're gonna put it in a scale and we're gonna add in a rotation so you can set a keyframe for both, all right? So uncheck the constraint proportion for the scale and we're gonna set Y to zero. And then we go down about 18 frames and we're gonna set it to about, uh, let's see, 100, right? And then put down a keyframe for, and for the rotation, maybe it can go 180 degree. So let's see that. So it's gonna grow and rotate. So maybe you can just grow, start from 90 instead of uh, from zero. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that for now. Let's rename this text animator as base. And we're gonna add in a new text animator. Click animate and we're gonna add in scale. So this animator will be the one to offset the length of each pipe symbol. So we're gonna name it offset. Uncheck the constraint proportion. Actually, I'm gonna option click on the stopwatch and link it to our point control. All right, so right now we can change it back to 100. And then uh, about for the and for the y axis, we can change it 500. So now we have everything inside the, the effects panel, so it's easy to control, right? Um, so let's move on. Now we want to go into our range selector, go to advanced, and we select our shape to round. And then we can randomize the order, right? And we can option click on the random seed and pick with it to our C slider control, right? Now from our effects panel, if we just scrub the C of the slider, we can create variants of our design. So now that we offset the length of each uh, pipe symbol, let's move on to coloring. We're gonna create a new text animator, animate, view color, RGB, okay? And then I'm gonna option click on the fill color and pick with it to color control, all right? Do it again. And then I'm going to go open up the range selector and advance. And I'm going to set randomize order. Do it again. Click option click on the randomize C and click the slider control. Okay. And uh, so let's rename this animator C1. And we're not going to make any changes to the, to the range selector for the first one because this is the base color. But for the second one, let's command D to duplicate C2. For the second one, we want to set the end to 25. Okay, so it's only affecting 25 uh, 
it's only affecting up some it's going to color some bars instead of all of them we're going to duplicate it about yeah about five more times so we have six of them and then press ee -E to show in the expression oh ee -E, right so i'm going to press the tu the tutor key to full screen and uh we're just going to change uh, change the the, the name of the color control that is linked to. So for the first one, it's going to start at color control. The second one will be color control uh, space 2. And then sub subsequently, space 3. And the next one, space 4. And then I am going to, for this one, space 5. Space six. All right, so all the colors are there. Let's try uh, adding some colors. So I have a color palette over here in my asset. So these are the colors we're gonna use. So I'm gonna pick with it. Uh, go into select my layer, X control. So I'm gonna select the yellow as the first one, and I'm gonna select the second one, maybe the the pinkish color, the blue, and let's see, we have the green, the red. And the last one, we could use uh, a dark blue, all right? And notice, even though we connected all the colors, right, uh, it's only showing up two colors. This is because our seed value is all the same, so they are overlapping. So the last color, which is blue, is actually stacking on top of all the colors we have put in. So to fix this situation, let's, all we need to do is go back to our expressions, right? And we just need to add a, a random number to to this, uh, to our range, to our seed value. So we can add plus one, plus two. We can, any number will do as long they are not the same. You can add 45. You can times five, five. Let's see. And the last one is we can add plus 44, 444, 444. All right. So let's, that's about it. We have, uh, change the slide, slide of value for everything. Let's exit, all right? So you can see all the colors are, are there now. And I will just scrub the C value. See, we get all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, not rainbow, you get what I mean. All right, let's do this color palette. And then now we can start animating our text animator. Press U to show our animated keyframes. So let's see, first of all, it's gonna, let's, let's uh, animate the scale first. So at two seconds, I want it to increase in length, so 500. And then as it go, it's gonna stay like that for a while, drop in one keyframe. And then after that, it's gonna shrink back to zero. Okay, let's play that, see what happens. All right, not very exciting. Okay, so let's add in rotation. So as it's go, it's good, the rotation is gonna go to 90 to 180. And then afterwards, it's gonna go backwards into negative 30. And then at the end, it's going to go into 180. Okay, let's play that and see what happens. Suddenly you get something that's more interesting. Okay, let's select all the keyframes. And then right click. Uh, right click on the keyframe. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. Okay, for this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to go into the speed graph because that would take too much time. Uh, I'm sure you guys can manage something like that on your own. Okay, so we got a motion down. And there's so many things you can animate. For example, the number of characters uh, could increase if you're using the animation preset uh, that repeats the characters. Uh, you could change the size. You could animate the size of the, uh, the width of the bars or the length of the bars. So possibly an endless. You can even animate the colors if you want. So everything is all in the effects panel, right? And maybe Let's see, let's, I'm going to double click on my text layer and just change it to the capital A and see what happens. And then you can also use different, different uh, characters and just again, to see what happens, right? You try B, let's try B, see? Let's scale it down so we can see it clearly, down to 50%. There we go, something like that. All right, let's maybe try something like C, double click on it and just type in it. So the, yeah, go ahead and play with different characters. Maybe you can try uh, windings and see what happens. I'm gonna go back to the pipe symbol and see what, uh, 
just so we can stay on track. The last thing we want to do is just to add an adjustment layer and add our glow. I'm going to rename this adjustment layer glow. All right. So I'm going to go to my effects and preset panel and type in glow. And uh, we could use uh, the After Effects standard glow. But I actually use, uh, for the preview animation that you see uh, at the front, I actually use a plugin called Deep Glow. It gives a more satisfying, uh, more pleasing look. Uh, so you have the option of using After Effects built-in uh, built glow, and you can just increase the radius and increase the intensity, maybe two, and reduce the threshold to something, maybe increase the threshold. All right. So that's one way. Or if you are a student, or you have a if you have a, the Red Giant uh, plugins, right? Uh, you can use a plugin called Optical Glow, which also give you a, a very pleasing glow to look at. It's very easy to use, right? So another option. Let's see. Let's try to adjust it. Okay, maybe it amounts too much, so let's reduce it. So if you're a student, you can actually get free uh, Red Giant plugin license. Just go on the website, and you can figure out how to do that. So, uh, so that's for optical glow, right? The last glow we're gonna explore is called deep glow, and uh, it's just simply make everything very looks amazing already. Uh, my setting was a uh, radius of three hundred and exposure of 0.5. And uh, that's it. That's how you do this uh, abstract animation using text layer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.